Hi, welcome to my next video. We finally managed with Kana to settle down a little bit in a new small house we are renting. And this time we are outside of Tokyo near Enoshima. This is a little bit of a touristic spot near the sea. People from Tokyo go there often to just rest a little bit. And there are plenty of interesting things to draw and paint. There's a small cute train line and an island and a port and also all kinds of crazy surfing stuff and beach kind of things so uh, I'm kind of excited to paint all of this but before I get ahead of myself I wanted to paint the small studio room we had in the apartment in Waseda where we were living for the last two years. Uh, I wanted to do it fast because I wanted to do it only from memory. I didn't use any photos or references here I just drew everything as I remembered it and in the places I was not quite sure I asked Kana for help. So the first step was just figuring out everything. I drew everything really rough to figure out the size and the perspective and when I felt comfortable with the content uh, I overlaid another piece of paper and did a little bit more detailed sketch. This time I wanted to use the Copic Multiliner for the lines, uh, so I didn't scan the lines before uh, painting with watercolors. I used a little bit thinner watercolor paper than usual, I used the uh, White Watson 190 grams uh, paper, uh, because this time I didn't plan to use so much water and so much paint, I just wanted to uh, color it really simple. This also helps a little bit with tracing the lines using the tracing table. With a little bit thinner watercolor paper you can really see the lines from the sketch underneath. So it helps a lot with a detailed sketch, with a detailed painting like this one. I chose my Schmincke watercolor set, the main one, 48 colors, for this one uh, because it has many many colors and for a painting like this uh, you really need a lot of colors so you can do it fast. Uh, there is no particular order I did uh, the coloring on this painting because there's just so many things to do and everything is a little bit different colored so I just chose whatever color I had on hand and painted everything randomly. Uh, I more or less remember what color everything was so I was just doing it as I went. The whole painting process was a little bit longer than I expected, so I just chose the most interesting parts here. Uh, feel free to watch till the end and I'll meet you there. Okay, so the painting is more or less done. I just painted the shadows as the last thing to add a little bit depth to the picture. The whole thing was loosely inspired in the works of Hayao Miyazaki and I don't mean his animation works but the comics he does. He draws a lot of pictures of fantastic machines and airplanes and tanks where he meticulously paints all the compartments, all the parts so it's really interesting to read, even though his writing is hard to decipher 
uh, on most of the panels. I didn't want to do this mistake, so I added my uh, text in Photoshop after I scanned the picture. You can read it here by pausing the video or you can see it in full on my blog. Okay, so this is this and I will be announcing some really exciting stuff uh, soon. This is one of the reasons why uh, we moved from Tokyo to Enoshima. But for now, as always, feel free to share, comment and subscribe. See you in the next video. Bye.